I promised y'all I was gonna give y'all some some tips and some tricks this week. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to give everybody opportunity to learn something because I know everybody can't afford those classes and I understand that. And it's my anniversary week for my launch of my um, website. And I got to give back. I got to give back. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I see 70 something people in here. We're gonna go ahead and start. Now, this is not instructions per se on how to do work, but I'm gonna teach you where to get different things from, um, from different sources or, or places of power, okay? So, in the low country, the Gullah Geechee community, we use a lot of salt, right? Now, if anybody is from this area, or anybody can get to the beach, or whatever the case may be, get you some water from the ocean, go home and boil it, and boil the salt out of it. All right? Put that salt on your altar as a connection to your ancestors that were lost at sea. Y'all get this? Get some water from the ocean. Boil the water. Of course, it's salt water, so salt will be at the bottom once all the water evaporates. Okay? A lot of our ancestors were lost at sea. And that would be your direct connection to those ancestors. Ain't all about no candles, y'all. Okay? Y'all got that? Somebody say move on when it's time for me to move on to the next thing. Boil it till all the water go out. Till the, till the water evaporates and the salt is in the bottom. All you want is the salt. Don't burn it. But all you want is the water to evaporate and you want the salt out of the bottom. Okay? Now... Another thing about us, we use everything that come out the water, whether it come out the ocean or whether it come out the river or a pond or wherever it, it may be. Every type of shellfish or a type of reptile or whatever the case may be, you can do different types of work with, okay? If you can get a blue crab, I'm talking about the blue crabs now, not the snow crabs. I'm talking about the blue crabs. Thank y'all. The blue crabs, you would take the back off the crab, the shell. So you would use the shell in different types of works. You can grind the shell up. You can make a powder. Okay? You can use the shell in protection work. You can use the shell to cover your work. And you can also, and I'm not telling nobody to do this now. I'm not telling y'all to do this. But you can also use a crab in reversal work. Crab, shell, or the crab itself. Gator head. All right. There's no such thing as just getting a gator head from somebody. A novelty shop, a botanical, metaphysical, wherever, New Orleans, wherever you want to get them from. You can't just get them and, and you know, say you're going to use them, right? Everything has to have life put back into it. Okay? So you have to put the life back into this to work with the spirit of this animal to protect you. So you're going to blow smoke onto it. After you cleanse it, you're going to blow smoke onto it to wake the spirit up. You're going to wake the spirit of the gator up and you're going to tell that gator what you need for it to do for you. And whatever you need protection from. If you need protection, you need your money protected. Put your money in the mouth of the gator. Okay? If you need protection for yourself, put a, a, represent a representation or a picture of yourself in the mouth of the gator all right that way if anything or anybody comes next to you that's the spirit that will attack or tries to get to you i say it like that that's the spirit that will attack okay you can use a gator paw as well all right another um sea creature if you want to say it like that um you can use is the conch shell y'all know what conch is the shell that looks like it's in a swirl but it's a, it look like a big seashell with a, okay y'all know what it is all right so you can use that to conceal 
what you're doing if that makes sense if you get it you get it i'm not gonna go too much into it because i can't say too much but you can use that the inside of that shell that hole the hollow part to conceal what you're doing again y'all i'm not giving y'all no work i'm just telling y'all how to work different things always use discernment always divine always use discretion in anything that you do i'm just giving you some things that you can do other than burn a candle okay so i'm gonna name something else and i want somebody to tell me what what you would do with it uh turtle shell what would you do with a turtle shell you can cover yourself what else slow something down there you go sweetheart when you want to slow something down okay a turtle shell can be used in a court case reason being is because sometimes those judges and, and, and prosecutors or whatever try to rush you in front of the judge you know to go ahead and give you some time or whatever the case may be give your loved one some time and send them on but you want to slow it down until you can get some work done to stop it right so you're gonna use that turtle shell to slow it down i'm not gonna tell you how to do it i'm just telling you what you can use to do it a turtle is not fast now so you want to slow things down this is my way of giving back i appreciate y'all anybody that's ever shot with me book with me i mean share my posts follow my page whatever i really appreciate y'all this has been a phenomenal year for me you can use you can use the sand from the beach you can use the sand itself from the beach to confuse the enemy how can you confuse the enemy oh well have them counting them greens of sand that's how you can confuse them i'm not gonna tell you how to do it i told you enough already but you can use the sand from the beach to confuse your enemy kind of like rice absolutely and but the thing about it is the sand from the beach is going to be a little bit more powerful than that rice reason being is because of the water that washes up on the beach that carries the spirit of your ancestors yeah y'all y'all see how we working everything revolt reverts back to salt or the water or the earth all right grits good too grits and rice will confuse um a spirit like a hag or a hate or whatever you want to call it all right calorie shells are usually for fortune money financial gain things like that or what people use them to divine with i don't use them to divine all right so okay now there's something that anybody ever been fishing around here or crabbing nine times out of ten you call it an eel eel is a fish that looks like a snake okay y'all know what i'm talking about when i say an eel right now i'm not talking about no live eel don't go messing with no live eel but um the use of an eel in certain works sends that that element of surprise like you know i got you bitch you know that type of thing um because it shocks it's only but so much i can tell y'all and reason being is because i don't know who's on the other side of the screen i don't know you know what i'm saying I can only give you the foundation of how to do your work. Okay? A eel adds an element of surprise. A eel is a, a shock you type, you know, out of nowhere type situation. All right? Somebody said protect yourself first yes divine before you do anything any type of work learn how to divine if you don't know how to divine then you don't need to do nothing you need to learn how to divine first once you learn how to divine and use discernment then you can move forward because i'm gonna tell y'all everybody cannot be worked so therefore you have to pay attention to what's going on same thing with these people that do court cases you know how many people work in these damn judges it's a lot of people working these judges so you have to use discernment okay and anything that you do 
use discernment don't go out there in them spiritual streets but naked y'all and call me tell me i told you i ain't tell you to do shit i'm just telling you how to do certain things i'm not telling you to go do nothing <laughs> all right It's make sure you, you know what you're doing. Make sure you know who you're going up against. All right? Learn how to protect yourself first. You need to get you one of these if you want to learn how to protect yourself first. I'll let you guys know that it is more to doing hoodoo or work, or however you want to say it, than a candle. Sometimes you can't get your hand on a candle. Sometimes you can't get your hand on no water. You know, you got to use what you got to use in order to do what you got to do. All right? Sometimes you can't get your hands on no herbs. If you don't have a connection to your spirit, I, I don't know what to tell you. Other than start over. Ain't nothing wrong with starting over. It's nothing wrong with saying, I don't know. Um, can you help me? Or... Pray for help to come your way so that you'll be able to find your way. There's nothing wrong with that, y'all. Where it goes wrong is when you try to do something and you don't know what you're doing. Or you try to follow out another working that you see somebody else do. All works don't work for everybody. You can use the same um, tool or, or, or the same um, animal or, or fish or reptile or whatever the case may be. And you work it different every single time because the situation is different every single time. Nothing is the same. Nothing. Okay? It's different situation. It's, it's different people that's playing parts and whatever's going on. All right? You're welcome. You're welcome. Remember everything. I know I talk fast. I know I talk fast. I'm sorry. But everything this week is doing some type of me teaching you not teaching I'll take that back giving you information on how to do workings not actual workings but how to use different things other than the normal which is a candle all right y'all y'all have a good night